Hey guys, my name's Jan. I make new videos every Friday, so please make sure you leave a subscribe down below and make sure you also press this bell notification button displayed here to know when I've uploaded a new video. It tends to be Fridays anyway. So hey guys, welcome to this week's video. This week I've decided to go back to a good old chat blog. Well, a vlog. Because I haven't done one of these in a while and getting ideas for videos and that is quite difficult sometimes. But I've had this video planned, weirdly, for a uh, chat thing. So uh, anyway, let's get going with it. Welcome to this week's video, like I say. And I thought what I'd do is start talking about what's been going on recently. So, exams. The good news is I finally had the results. Bad news is I passed. I uh, got, I did all right in American studies. It's probably the worst thing, but I did all right in American studies. And then we get onto the law side of things. Uh, I got, sadly I got 58 in public law, which is because it's coursework and I am awful when it comes to coursework. Then my worst grade after that is EU law at 67%, which the coursework was awful and it came back as an awful grade, but I got three questions wrong on the exam. Three questions. 85% of the exam I got correct. So that went well. That's how I got the 67%. Then next was tort law, which I, I'm i happy with. You've got to remember we had a, you won't know about this, we had a fire alarm during our exam and we had to get evacuated. Which I wish I could record, but I can't record because I'm in an exam because that would just be really good footage. Anyway, so I got 72 on that. Oh, the EU, by the way, was multiple choice exam, which is really difficult. It sounds so easy, but it will be something like should and would. And the wording needs to be that precise and you get it wrong if you don't, or could and should, things like that, it will be a subtle. So EU went well, tort went well, then we get to contract law. Uh, tort was 60% multiple choice and a essay question thing where you have to write, either you get a problem or you get an essay. So a problem question will be advise a client and an essay will be, this is the point of law, do you agree? Contract was a fully an essay style exam. Uh, you had either, a prob it was two problem questions and one essay question, and I did the problem question. That's a good point, what did I do the pro I think I did it on the making of a contract. And that one was my worst exam, I thought. I came out of it thinking, oh God, hopefully I've passed. My personal tutor spoke to me about it because I got 78%, which anything above 75% in law generally is unthinkable. So to get 78%, considering I wrote on the Welsh side of the exam, thought it went badly wrong, forgot two cases, and for a journal that I was talking about, I wrote the wrong name of the journal. However, I got the name somewhat right, and the writer I got correct, and because he's only wrote a very limited amount of articles, they could trace it back pretty much to what I was on about. Plus I quoted from it and I quoted a judge. So yeah, so my exams went well. And I've been asked to do an internship, but I can't do one this year because I'm first year and internships are only available for second and third years. So anyway, it's March now as well which means that I am well into the semester. In fact, I'm nearly 
four weeks, five weeks in. This is the end of the fourth week. God. Or is it the end of the fifth week? It's week four, week five next week, so yeah. It's fun. Politics, because I'm doing American politics and I'm going to bring back this, is interesting at the moment. But we haven't done anything on Donald Trump yet. And we're not going to be studying Donald Trump. Which I don't mind. But you would have thought that we would have done. But it's interesting. It's definitely something I enjoy. Apart from it's very difficult because we have the seminar, which is to discuss everything that you learned about the lecture and everything about the reading and answer questions. We have the seminar on a Tuesday and then we have the lecture on a Friday, three till five, which makes it difficult because we have to prepare for the seminar before we have the lecture. So that's, it's difficult at the moment, but it's going all right. The only thing is I've got coursework due in in a month's time, so I'm gonna have to crack down on that. And of course, it's March, which means it's not actually long until I'm off to Washington DC. And that's something I wanna talk about in today's video as well, because I'm struggling for ideas of what you want me to do. So what I mean is what you want me to do video wise while I'm in Washington DC, would you prefer a daily video? Would you prefer just a video of the whole week? Would you prefer the week being split up into two? I'm thinking a daily video personally, but that's a lot to record and it's a lot to edit, but I can upload that when I've got exams, you see. The other thing is, as well, is what would you like to see in Washington and what do I want to do? We don't really know what's there. We've got a rough guide of Washington and we're looking at doing things such like the Supreme Court and Congress because they are free to do and we're going to do some museums as well and we'll probably go out for the day somewhere. But that's part of the plan. And I'm going to record some stuff on the plane because it's always very interesting doing pre-clearance. But it's what would you like? Is there anything in Washington that you could recommend us doing? That as well, because I need to experience Washington to help me with my studies because I'm doing politics. But because, you know, it's Washington is the capital of the United States. So I been thinking about a new format for the video as well. Uh, what I mean by this is, well, it's the end bit really, is the format that I'm thinking of. I don't, I like my outro being the screen with the video link and everything else on the side, but would you prefer outtakes to be there? Or would you prefer the, the uh, me talking over like I've got at the moment? Or would you prefer something like at the end of the video saying, oh, do this, you know. I don't know what to do there because I'm thinking that it's not quite getting the effect that I want. So I'd like some feedback on that as well, if you can. Uh, yeah. One thing I do want to point out is that I've been saying I upload videos every Friday. That is kind of correct. Try and get a video up every Friday. Thing is it's difficult with the amount of work I do. I'm a joint honours student which means that I do two courses pretty much and I do majority of two courses put together which means that instead of maybe doing you do less law and less American studies but in total whereas law you do what 40 hours a week I do 50 hours a week studying, which makes it really difficult to put a video up because of the amount of work. And my work does have to come first because, you know, I'm studying. But I am trying my best. I do want to point that out. And this video hopefully will be up today because it's a nice quick video. And that's why there's a lot of videos like this at the moment, because it's just easier to do. Anyway, I don't think I've talked enough because I've got to edit all this. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have and have any ideas and anything, first of all, let me know if you've got any ideas by leaving a like down below, or if you've enjoyed this video anyway, because it really does help. 
because it notifies me that you're enjoying the content that I'm bringing out, etc, etc. If you've got any ideas as well, comment. Please comment. I've just whacked the microphone. Because with your ideas, I can make videos. I can change things. So that really does help, does help me. When I mean comment, comment down here and comment on Twitter. Like, put a Twitter thing in, because I do read Twitter, I'm always on Twitter. feel like, yeah, I'm probably on Twitter too much. Actually, that's a point. But that way you get to see what I'm getting up to as well. Snapchat. I Snapchat often when I'm in a lecture. Not while the lecture's going on, I will point out. But do follow me on Snapchat to see what I'm doing. Like, tomorrow I'm hopefully going to Cardiff. So that's a good thing to do. And I've got a pen because I know I've got to do work in a minute. Hmm. I've got to read some American study stuff. Anyway, follow me on Snapchat. That's up there. And make sure as well you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Snapchat. But subscribing helps because I get a video up. You get to see what I'm doing in my life. And you get to enjoy it. And I've just threw a pen at the camera while done me. Last week's video is at the end. It was an interesting video. It's about reading and sex. Anyway, it get, it get people watching it. It's at the end. Definitely uh, worth checking out. And I'll see you all next week. Goodbye. Why don't you click subscribe? Make sure you check out last week's video. Why not follow me on Twitter or Snapchat?